All right, we're going to do number two from uh, the 2010 Calc AB Form B exam. Uh, and this is a very calculator-driven question. So let's uh, insert a calculator page and define the functions that they give us. Uh, so we're told g of 1 is 2, we're told x is greater than 0, and then um, g prime, which I'm just going to call g p of x, is set equal to sine of x plus 1 over x. And then uh, g double prime, which I, I don't know, g p p, I guess, of x, or maybe uh, g g d p of x, not to be confused with the economic thing, um, will be, uh, I don't know why they're giving this to you exactly, but they are. So let's define it. So cosine of It would have been faster to just have my calculator find that derivative. Um, all right, anyway, I have those two things defined. First question, for uh, all value, find all values of x in the interval 0 0.12 to 1, at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line. All right, so let's insert a graphing page. Let's change the window before we graph. Um, so get out, all right, window uh, 0 0.12 to 1, and horizontal tangent line means that the derivative is equal to 0, so we need to graph um, g prime of x. All right, and let's find those zeros. First zero is 0 0.163, and then the second zero will be 0 0.359. All right, so those are the two times uh, that occurs. So I'd write g prime of x equals 0, and then that implies that x is those two values, and I'd be done. Um, what subintervals between 0 0.12 and 1, if any, is the graph concave down? All right, so let's add a graphing page. Let's change our window again. Let's do it better this time. 0 0.12 to 1, and now... Uh, I'm going to graph g double prime of x. All right, concave down means that uh, I'm looking for the second derivative to be less than zero. So let's find these. Um, let's find the zeros here. Um, it's kind of hard to get that one. Well, all right, let's get that one. So I know there. Um, let's move it over a little bit, and you can see this thing is a monster to the left of uh, the value they give you which is why we changed the window first, but now we can get this one. All right, so between uh, 0 0.129 and 0 0.223 is the answer that we're looking for. And uh, let's move on to part C. So we want the equation of the line tangent to the graph at x equals 0 0.3. So let me insert the calculator page. All right, so I need the slope, which will be g prime of 0 0.3. Um, all right, so that's my slope. And then I need the y value at 0 0.3. Well, I know uh, that g of 1 is equal to 2. So I know g of 1 equals 2. And I also know that um, if I do the integral of g prime from uh, 0 0.3 to 1 of g prime, of x dx, that's going to give me the total change in the function from 0 0.3 to 1. Um, so let's find out what that total change is. Is that? Okay, so that's the total change. So what I want to do is I really want to do um, 2 minus the integral from there to there um, to kind of backtrack to get 1.546. So that's g of 1 plus, or g of 1 minus the integral from 0 0.3 to 1 gives you g of 0 0.3. So I know the y value. So this is just really ugly. Um, so it's going to be y minus 1.546 equals um, what I get for my slope, negative 0 0.472, 0 0.472, and then x minus 0 0.3. I don't know. Sometimes they make you use your calculator more than others. Um, the next question, or the next part of the question says, uh, does the tangent line lie above or below for 0 0.3 to 1 and then y? So let's go back to our graph of g double prime and change the window 
to go from 0 0.3 to 1. Um, and on that interval, you can see that uh, g double prime is greater than 0, um, which means that the graph is concave up. And if the graph is concave up, the tangent line is underneath the graph. And that's actually the question. So uh, that would be my answer. And that's the whole thing. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.